Item. SCP-353. Object Class. Keta. Special Containment Procedures. Biological Hazard Protocol. Redacted. Is to be maintained at all times. Biohazard Threat Level 4. Full hazardous material suits, gloves, and oxygen supply will be required to examine subject. A disinfectant shower and decontamination spray are standard procedure before and after contact with SCP-353. The whole containment unit is to be kept underground, at negative pressure, and hermetically sealed at all times to prevent accidental contamination to the outside area. In the case of containment breach, all affected personnel are to be placed in immediate biohazard level 4 quarantine. Termination will be required in the possibility of an outbreak of one or more class 9 infectious agents. Subject should be fed three times a day, as standard, and provided with the minimum required comfort items, a twin-size bed, a pillow, and a blanket. Clothing in the form of disposable surgical scrubs are to be provided as needed, but requests for items should otherwise be denied. Any outward signs of disease in the subject, such as rashes, bulls, vomiting, or sickly pallor or demeanor, should be reported with haste. Since the appearance of symptoms in SCP-353 means a willful effort on her part, Subject is to be subdued and questioned. Should SCP-353 need to leave its containment facility for any reason, it is to be fitted with explosive collar, time-release drug delivery device, for dosages of euphoric substances, and biohazard containment suit. Should SCP-353 suit breach containment, Emergency sterilization procedures up to and including incineration of the affected area are to be carried out. Description. SCP-353 appears to be a normal human female, 26 years old, of average physical capacity and average intelligence. Subject has the capacity to siphon infectious viral and bacterial agents from her environment nurture and store them within her body, and then redistribute them to devastating pandemic effect. SCP-353's mood directly affects the radius of infections recorded, with increased emotional states leading to massively increased potency. SCP-353 seems to be immune from the symptoms of said infectious agents but just as long as she is only passively storing them. Her active, willful attempts to nurture, manipulate, and change infectious agents while they remain in her body cause her to manifest symptoms ranging from mildly annoying to severe. Symptoms only last as long as she is actively inducing a change in the quantity or quality of an infectious agent and thus rarely last longer than a few hours. Examinations have shown that the subject is able to store almost any infectious bacterial or viral agents within her body, though she is only capable of changing agents that are able to naturally survive within the human body. As of the writing of this report, SCP-353's blood contains traces of over 1,000 different infectious agents, including human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, Ebola, Marburg, 67 different strains of the common cold, herpes simplex A, E. coli, cholera, bubonic plague, SARS, and malaria. At least 30% of said infectious agents were previously unknown to the medical community, and were possibly engineered by SCP-353 herself, making SCP-353 an invaluable resource.